Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hi, this is Nedu Obed and Oziyama Obed. Yes, yes. And we say to you today, are you in a relationship or are you planning to start a relationship? Welcome to our relationship building forum. Hallelujah. Today we are we we have a topic that we want to uh, address very briefly, and I, I want to remind us again that uh, this is to help uh, build a very loving environment for relationships. We never say that we are perfect in any way, as uh, Paul would say that he's uh, yet not yet have not yet attained. So it's the same thing here, but the Lord has blessed us uh, by the grace of God. Uh, like we say, you know, having been in a relationship for some time now, married for a long time, having children and all that stuff, we are just blessed and we know we can share from uh, uh, the kingdom point of view uh, what makes of a great relationship. Praise the Lord. So uh, the title for our discussion today is Love in a Fulfilling Relationship. Love in a Fulfilling Relationship. So in a moment, we're going to have a discussion about this, but I just want to introduce it uh, and say, uh, I want to talk about this to help build fulfilling relationships. Yes, why do we need this? Why this phrase? Why this phrase, love in a fulfilling relationship? And we say that, uh, uh, yeah, the phrase, we use the phrase because we have come to realize that uh, many people are in relationships, as we know. Mm -hmm. Some yes. are very uh, happy, and mm -hmm. some are just in a very bad situation that we we know that that's not God's plan. Exactly. You know? Yeah, exactly. God, it's not God's plan for this relationship. And they are more important, also uh, equally important, there are some young people out there who are looking to begin relationships yes. and marry, eventually get married. And a lot of time we learn as we go, but there are things that you can actually come with to help you uh, take care of some of the pitfalls that some people find themselves in once they are already in relationships. Yes. All right. Having said that, this is the reason why we do this. So whatever your state of your relationship, whether you are already in one, and you want to make it better, or you are planning to get into one, this is what this forum is about. We believe there's nothing God cannot do. He can always make things great for us. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we want to talk about love in a fulfilling relationship. What would you say when you hear that love in a fulfilling relationship, what do you think um, uh, comes to mind? Well, love, um, kingdom love is what I think about. Okay. And kingdom love uh it's um it's given kingdom love is patient it is um it's um persevering okay it's sacrificial so love in the kingdom of god is not about what somebody has done for me but uh it, it's about giving it's about trusting it's about transparency it's about openness so uh it's about being sacrificial okay um love is is not what somebody has given to me okay all right so what i'm hearing here is uh, love uh, giving has a lot to do with love. Yes. All right. So when we are getting into a relationship, one of the key things that we we will, will be looking at, uh, especially from us, the individual who is trying to get into a relationship, like you just said, it's about giving. We have to have an attitude to want to give to the other person. Kingdom love. As a matter of fact, there's a, a scripture we were just talking about that I want us to look at, and we're going to use that to to talk about just what you just said, and that is from First Corinthians uh, thirteen four to seven. So, if you probably could read it for us. First Corinthians thirteen verses four to seven. Love suffers long and is kind. 
Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, it's not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely. Love does not seek its own, it's not provoked. Thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and does all things. All right. So what are we hearing from this scripture? This scripture is letting us know that uh, when a couple are coming together in a relationship, one thing is for sure, there's going to be some imperfections. Everybody's going to bring some imperfections with them. Okay. We, are, so we are not perfect. We are not perfect. People. There's nothing perfect about anybody. So when we come in as people who have been touched by the divine love of God, God loved us, so we have to learn to love back. Let us look quickly at some of this. He said, love suffers long and is kind. What does that mean? You know, love would take some things when the other person is kind of dishing things at you or, you know, doing things that are not very uh, uh, enjoying. How do you put it? Not not, not very nice to you. Somebody not being very nice to you. So, you need to be able to endure for some time. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself as not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. No, love does not seek its own. In other words, love knows how to give even when the other person doesn't fully deserve to receive. That's the thing. So when you're going to a relationship or when you're in a relationship and situations are not as perfect as you want them to be, you have to learn the divine type of love to be able to keep that relationship going. And uh, this is when you're already there. But you have to also know that before you go in there, there are other things that you have to look at. But today we are just talking about the importance of love the foundation, the foundation building building your relationship on love, on love as the foundation yes. because if it's built on that love and we are not talking about just um f- you know where you can start from friend love and from there develop feelings you know, and stuff like that feelings it should go beyond that from yes. friend love to uh, erotic love and to agape love, it should develop to the point where it is agape, unconditional. Okay, but it has to be built on love. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, um, it's, it's not going, to, it's going to collapse. The relationship yes. will yes. collapse. So when you hear love, what are you hearing? You're hearing that you're, uh, you have to look at where we can find a good example of love. Now, because people in the world have many ideas of what love yes. is, you know, somebody love may be somebody that is, you know, uh, telling them how how beautiful they are or how how strong he is if he's a man, you know, this kind of stuff. <laughs> or somebody who can buy them gifts, you, can buy you them know, gifts. he bought me this, bought me that, bought me this car, you know, yeah. he loves me because he's always giving me yeah. things. But that could be a trap too. Exactly. It can be a bait and once you grab into it, they turn around and start, you know, being real bad. So, love, 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 love is good. Let's look at another scripture that will help us as we, we're almost halfway done. Uh, it's uh, Romans chapter 5 verse 8. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. If you want to make your uh, relationship fulfilling or you want to re-energize your relationship or you're going into or you're going into a relationship for the first time. You're going to a relationship for the first time. Let me see. Okay. You're going into a relationship for the first time. So you need to know the importance of love in that relationship. So let's look at Romans chapter 5 verse 8. It says, But God demonstrates his own love towards us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So what does that mean? Think about that. He said, God showed us love. We want to know how to show love. God showed us love. Why were we yet sinners? In other words, why we had nothing to give God? Why we didn't qualify for this love? God showed us love by mm-hmm. giving us his best. Yes. Giving us his best. What, what do you want to say about that? 
Yes, uh, exactly uh, the point that you made. Um, God gave us his best and um, the Lord Jesus is our example of what love is. True love is perfect love. Mm -hmm. Um, and someone may say, well, I'm not Jesus, you know, I, I can't do it as well as Jesus, but we are striving towards perfection. As he is our example, we want to uh, continue to be in the way that he, he, he was. Mm -hmm. We want to perfect our love towards one another. Mm -hmm. So we want to grow in love towards one another. The way we, we are, or we were when we started shouldn't be the way that we are midway mm -hmm. there has to be growth mm -hmm. in love that's yeah okay yeah thanks for that yeah we have to grow in love we have to know that uh, the person we are dealing with and not this is not perfect just like we're not perfect so it's about giving our god gave 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 he says True love gives when even when the receiver doesn't deserve it sometimes the person uh, in relationships don't deserve you. I know sometimes I didn't deserve the kind of love that I received from you, but uh, hey, I'm glad to receive it. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> glad to receive it all you say. So it's a blessing to know that ultimately, because we are connected to the Lord, uh, the Lord has shown us how to love and we endeavor to do the same for one another. And that's what it's really about. There's no like magic uh, thing to magic wonder. So just being like Christ in our relationship, trusting that yes, God is able to love us when we were the worst of the worst. Yes. And he gave us the best. Let us do the same in our relationship. Yes, sometimes the person, like I said, the person, you know, doesn't deserve it. They've been terrible. They continue to be terrible. Yeah, the Bible will say things like as much as it's in your strength. Live peaceable with other one people, another, one yes. another. So we, as the individual, you as the individual, do your best. That's what we are literally trying to say here. Do your best to uh, hold your part of that relationship, because the Lord loves people who love. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. And the Bible will say it's better to give than to receive. Sometimes mm -hmm. you actually enjoy more when you give to somebody else, and let that person be. The person you are dealing with. Yes, again, we know that there are a lot of issues in relationships. There are a lot of bad, you know. There are a lot of dynamics, a lot of dynamics. things that affect relationship, a lot of things that come in and makes this almost impossible mm -hmm. uh, to do and makes it impossible for someone to be loved. But like he said, um, we are supposed to do our own very best, okay? Yes. Using the Lord as our example. If we do our best, then we know we have done what we uh, need to do. We can't give up just, you know, so fast. We have to be patient in love. We have to be patient Hallelujah. in love. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Fortunately, time is here, so we're about to stop. So we just want to round up today. Uh, before we just shut it down, we're going to do a quick prayer. But before that, let us remember our discussion today is the love in a fulfilling relationship. And we said that uh, God first showed us how to love. If you really want your relationship to grow, or if you're planning to get into one, start with the foundation of love. Don't yes. go because somebody is offering you all kind of physical material things. Or something making you feel woozy. No, the love comes from the heart. It's easy. It doesn't hurt. It's very easy to do with somebody that will love you back. And uh, once you're in a relationship, but you already uh, things are not as you would expect it, still walk through the love from your own aspect, and God will uh, reward you. So today, I just want us to round up and uh, with a quick prayer uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And we just say. Father, we thank you again for, for you are the greatest lover ever. For you gave your best for those who don't, didn't deserve it. Give to us, showing us how to love. And that the Lord said that he, the, we are the bride of Christ, which means that the Lord Jesus also loved us and did everything possible for us. We pray right now for everyone who is in a relationship and this relationship is struggling. 
Father, we lift this one up to you. Mm -hmm. Those who want their relationship to work, we lift them up to you, yes. knowing that there is nothing impossible to, for you. Mm -hmm. We pray, oh Lord, as we have spoken about love today, that the spirit of love will settle into that home place that, yes. that relationship into that marriage mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. oh lord that they begin to remember what made it perfect in the first place yes. in the mighty name of jesus Amen. what made it perfect in the first place when they first began yes. and that they may be they start returning to that father yes. we also pray that they will look to the holy spirit who is the third person in every what for every fulfilling relationship yes. for the bible talks about a tree, uh, 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 a cord of three, a threefold a cord. Three cord is the sample. Thank you. Threefold cord is hard, it's not easy to break. Yes. The Holy Spirit is the third person in this relationship, in every fulfilling relationship. So we pray for your relationship right now. Maybe you're dealing with something, maybe you're at the verge of just giving up. I want you to know that you god is still able to fix that situation mm -hmm. in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray for the young people who are looking to get into a relationship mm -hmm. father we pray for everyone who who has listened this far that god will bring them to a place where they they will find the right person for themselves yes. person who when they love will love them back yes. so that they may see the beautiful fulfilling relationship that God will dare for them to have Alleluia. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Amen. Nazareth. Father, we give you glory, we give you time, we give all adoration in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So Alleluia. again, this is Nedu Obed and Uziama Obed. And we say to you, there's nothing as wonderful as godly and loving relationship yes so we encourage you to continue to trust in the lord amen, amen. and we are from the love divine relationship uh, forum and yes. until next time same time next week actually nine two hours from now next week we say to you remain blessed remember jesus loves you so do we and bye for now. Share this. Yes, please share this with other people. And uh, let us do this again next time. Let other people know. We know the Lord is about to will do a lot of wonderful things through this. Amen. Bye for now.